guys, Lemmy here and welcome back to another art video. Today we're going to cover a topic that was extremely common for me to hear others talking about when I was younger. We're going to talk a bit about whether digital art should be considered real art or not real art. And in grade school this topic was very common because the internet just became a thing. So I'm kind of dating myself here, but stay with me. The concept of digital artwork or things being uploaded on the internet in general was a bit weird. And also back then the internet was extremely gross. Like it was like a two year old had some crayons and drew all over the internet. Like the websites looked just awful. But around that time kids didn't generally use computers very much. I mean, let alone digital art programs, but whenever kids would use computers, it would to be to play like really awful computer games or to write their essays for school and then print them out. I mean, and before the internet, computers kind of just sucked in general. So just kind of imagine that they're like glorified typewriters. And in some cases, if you have a specific kind of job, you needed a computer for that job because they're really good at organizing information and using numbers and all that crap. But this is all just food for thought. So at this point, just try to wrap your brain around a world without the internet really. And it can be really very strange. I mean, even at this point in my life, if I think about that, it can be odd for, for me to think about it. And I just kind of set the stage for today's topic, but I do want to take a moment and give a shout out to Parblo. Parblo is a company that created the tablet that I'm using in today's video. The model tablet is called the Parblo Coast 13 and it's awesome. It's sort of like a hybrid of a graphics tablet and kind of like a pen tablet monitor, but it's kind of like really super lightweight and really easy to maneuver around and it doesn't get warm and it's just like having an actual graphics tablet in your hands but it has a monitor so i really just adore it i think it's great so a big thank you from me to them for providing today's tablet and in a way it's kind of sponsoring this video but i also want to be very clear that this video is my own personal views about the topic and in no way reflect parblo's beliefs in any way but I mean, I'm sure they have to kind of believe that digital art is real art because they're selling art tablets, right? <laughs> Be sure to check out the video comments for more information on this really cool little tablet I have here if you're interested. Anyway, we're going back to the topic. Back in the day, when I and everyone else was a teenager, there was so much hating on digital art. Like everyone loved to say that it wasn't real art and that since it's so easy to fix your mistakes that it can't possibly be real art or that because you're not working on a piece of paper and that you're working and what you're working on is actually on a computer screen that somehow that means it's not real or it's not capable of being a real art form or even at times they might imply that because you're working on a computer that somehow the computer is helping you make the art. Like you're sitting there and you're like, computer, draw me a cow. And then like a cow pops out or something. But what is weird is that I've actually seen some similar situations floating around recently on the internet. Like, okay, uh, for example, the Inktober controversy with Jake Parker, right? and how he said that you shouldn't be using digital art to do Inktober, you should really do it by hand because that's the spirit of Inktober is actually using physical ink and blah, blah, blah. And while I think what he said was, you know, all right, whatever, that's what he thinks. A lot of the reactions were very drastic one way or another. And it really reminded me of that whole controversy that was happening back in the day when I was a kid and everyone was like hating on digital art. You know, and still every now and again, like every blue moon, I'll see someone saying something similar to that on an art website of some sort. And then there will always be like a ton of people responding to that comment and defending digital artwork. Um, but I mean, it's weird to me that in this day and age that 
some people still believe that you know if a picture is made on the computer that somehow it's less than if it were made by hand my philosophy has always been the same as a kid or an adult it was that anyone who truly believed that digital art somehow was any less valid than anything else i just thought you are silly for believing that and I know there are going to be some angry kids out there saying like, Oh my god, you think I'm silly? But seriously, the whole debate was silly back then, and it's silly today. All of this kind of depends upon my reasoning behind this, and that is that digital art should be treated no differently from any other art form. Whether you're sculpting, doing pottery, painting, drawing, doing art digitally, it's all a different kind of art. However, in each situation, it's still an expression of a person, and also every form yields a product of some sort. So, to say a pen with ink is any realer than a pen that works with a tablet is kind of silly to me. I mean, well, granted you would need a different surface for each pen to work on, but that's kind of not really the point. <laughs> Digital art is different from traditional art, but you also have to look at it this way. There's a huge difference between coloring a picture using paint rather than coloring a picture using a pencil. You have to kind of get used to the different way of applying the colors, but at the end of the day you still have a colored picture. So whether it's on a computer screen that you need to print out the product, or whether you did the whole thing by hand and you have an original, to me it's kind of the same thing just end up with the same sort of product. To be clear, I don't think this topic is as common as it used to be. Like, the whole debate around this really died down, but I truly believe that digital art is much more warmly welcomed than it once was once upon a time. And it seems everyone is pretty cool with it now, which I'm very happy about. This is also kind of a side note, but it was just something I was thinking about. What I think is very interesting is seeing an artist who usually works with a computer do a traditional piece or vice versa. Like it's really odd to see how they change up what they do in order to make a picture. And it's really very entertaining to see because even if you're a novice at using the other media, like really quickly, like the artist will pick it up and really make something very cool at the end and it will look very unique. Yeah, I don't really know where that tangent came from, but I was just thinking about it. But anyway, those are my thoughts regarding the matter, but what are yours? Like, okay, and please, if you're in grade school or high school or whatever, you haven't went to college yet, are there any other kids in your class that bash on digital art and consider it to not be real art, in quotes here, <laughs> real art? Or do you have any teachers who feel that way? Because I know that some older teachers can kind of be stuck in their ways. So I really do wonder if anyone discusses this topic anymore in school, but what do you think? Do you think there are any large differences between traditional art and digital art, which makes one more real to the viewer than the other? And which do you prefer to do yourself? If you prefer one media, is it difficult for you to switch over to the other and create a picture? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section down below. Like I said, I do read all my comments. I can't respond to them all. Well, I mean, I'd be at my computer all day just typing and then, I mean, it, it's kind of like impossible at this point to keep up with it, but I do read them all. And thank you again, like, so much to Parblo for giving me this tablet to use in my video today. I mean, it's really a nifty tablet. It's super portable and really, just really cool. I've never seen anything like it. And also, it comes with this weighted pencil case, which is really cool. Like, I feel like I could hit someone over the head with it and knock them out. So I just love it. <laughs> Thanks again. And I'll see you all next week in another art video. You guys take care of yourselves. Bye.